Oh yeah, good stuff. Morning Parade in the Bing Lounge, 101.9 Kink. Welcome, gentlemen. It's good to good it's, to meet you. It's good to be here. Welcome to the Bing, and uh, do I understand, welcome to uh, Oregon. Have you ever been in our fair state before? I actually have. My, I've got a family here, so... Um, no way. I had a nice uh, home-cooked meal last night on Give our arrival. Give a shout-out. Where yeah. they, they live out in, uh, in Wilsonville. Cool. Which would be why I went, uh, I went on... Uh, online and their Twitter account, there's a twit pic of them up out in front of uh, Wonker's Corner in Wilsonville. <laughs> Although, you, I think you probably think it's pronounced a different way, don't you? Yeah, you know it means something else in England, right? <laughs> totally. Yeah. Oh, I totally do. <laughs> Just ju judging from the grins on your faces, you look like you're having a good time with that yeah. one. There's nothing yeah. like a childish, yeah. you know, pure old sense of humor there is there. There you so. go. <laughs> So, uh, as I understand, you were just down south in uh, Austin for yeah, South by Southwest. Yeah, in Austin, so it's been very confusing coming up here because it's very cold, and we even saw snow this morning. Yeah. So S supposedly spring starts tomorrow. Sorry about that. Um, that's cool. Well, did we brought. I hope we brought the arrival, so that's good. Did you play down there? We played six shows in four days. It's a pretty amazing conference, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's amazing. I kind of like the whole kind of. Uh, idea of just running into any venue around just jumping on stage and playing to everybody's there it's great it's great did you get a chance to catch springsteen's keynote address i wish i had but no oh. i think we were kind of catching as much sleep as we could in between the shows so. he had he had a great comment he had a lot of great comments but one thing he said was uh, talking about being in a band and playing music for a living and he'd be a guy who'd know he said you have to consider yourself the baddest of the badasses to get up there and do that every night be on stage and at the same time, you have to admit, I suck. <laughs> yeah, you got a bit of humility. He pretty much nailed it, didn't he? <clears throat> do, do you guys, at this point in your career, your evolution, do you consider yourself the baddest of the badasses? <laughs> <laughs> I think there has to be a level of kind of, there's a thin line between confidence and arrogance, but you've got to have a, you know, a little bit of uh, self-esteem and a bit of belief to get on a stage every night and do it, but you've also got to know when you're not doing your job properly too, so. Y you nailed it, yeah. This is your debut album. Uh, do I have this right? You got together, you've been together since 07? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so w what took five years? What took so long to get the debut album out? We just spent so much time drinking all the time. We were just <laughs> spent so drunk. Like, we need to stop drinking so much, get some work done. Which, no, would, ex um, yeah, which we would explain why you were led lemming-like to Wonker's Corner. And <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to get on the local microbreweries. Yeah. Now, um, I've known this man here um, since I was 11 years old. We met in art class at our uh, senior school. And uh, again, I've met the other guys over years of living in the same town and the kind of local music scene. And uh, it just started out as a load of fun. You know, we would get a crate of beers on a Saturday afternoon and play together. And uh, all of our songs were really, really poor and rubbish. No one liked our songs. And then uh, we wrote some ones that sounded better and suddenly we started playing some shows. Well, um, we always like to be able to break new bands here in the Bing Lounge. So let's get back to it. Once again, music from Morning Parade, 101.9 Pink. Thanks for being here. This is Uncle Ross and Ourselves. <laughs> 